Hi everyone, my name is Ren from QuickSave Interactive. In this tutorial, we will be discussing sound effects within the UI editor. The UI editor allows us to add sound files, which can then be triggered when we interact with a UI element. This can be done via a button click or triggering a state modifier animation. Let's dive into the UI editor and find out more. In the UI editor, we have our start button visual element. This has two state modifiers, start default and start large, which give it a visual effect when we click on the button. This has a click trigger with the event button press. And if we look at the event here, we are using these state modifiers that we previously mentioned. Let's go ahead and add a sound effect to this button press click. To do so, we will go to the sound section here. We will click the plus icon. This will give us an empty sound object. I will name this state start large to match the state modifier here. So when the state modifier start large is triggered in the event, it will also trigger this sound state. Let's add a sound file. I have a sound file called buttonpress.wav. And we can also set a delay, which I will keep at zero, and a volume, which I will keep at one, so it can be heard. Great. Now let's enter play mode by toggling F6. And if we go to our view panel, we can click on our button, and you can hear the sound effect of the button being pressed. The UI editor truly makes adding sounds to visual elements a breeze. We highly encourage you to experiment with adding sounds to your visual elements. We also highly recommend that you subscribe to the QuickSave YouTube channel and stay up to date with our tools website where you can find more tutorials just like this. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.